This video will present the functionalities of the toolset for multimedia annotation based on the Incentives platform. The toolset demonstrates semantic annotation with knowledge datasets like DBpedia, the structured version of Wikipedia. It is independent of the actual ontology or knowledge base used for annotation. We will show you how to use the web user interface of the tool to add and manually annotate an image. To add an image to the dataset, you need to select the Manage button. On the top menu bar of the Manage screen, you see that you can import a document, add an image, view the configuration of the application, or leave this management interface. Now we will show you how to add an image. The Add Image screen consists of a text box well of the image you want to add. It also provides instructions that give you a breakdown of the steps you need to follow. Let's say we want to add an image of Barack Obama nominating Ben Bernanke for a second term as the Federal Reserve Chairman. For our convenience, we have already found this image on the web. We copy its URL, paste it in the text box and click the Get button. The URL of the image is added to the database and the image appears under the text box. If you want to add an image from your computer, first you have to upload it on the web, for example on Flickr, and then follow the same steps we just performed. Now we have our image and we are ready to annotate it. To do that, click the Add Notes button at the bottom of the screen. An annotation text box appears together with a black rectangular frame. We position the frame on the place we want to annotate, in this case the face of Ben Bernanke, and extend it over the desired area. Then we start typing the name of the person in order to add an annotation. Immediately we are offered suggestions with possible names, such as Ben Becker, Ben Burden, and so on. We select the appropriate name from the list of suggestions and click OK. If we want to see the annotation we have made, we just place the cursor somewhere in the annotated area. Now we will follow the same steps to annotate Barack Obama's image. When we are ready with our annotations, we click Save. This way we can manually add and annotate images, store the annotations in our semantic database and the image in our document repository. In the next video we will show you how to find images and explore results. Thanks for watching this video.